Hello, my name is Cesare. I'm a pilot community manager here at InFlights. I'm also a drone pilot myself with land surveying experience. I also specialize in drone mapping data processing. In this video, I want to show you how to work with InFlights as a pilot. Let's start from the beginning by registering a new pilot account. Just go to inflights.com and click Join Us Pilot button here. Now click on Get Started. Fill in your name, email address, password and phone number. Make sure that there is a right country code there. Read and accept general terms and conditions and privacy policy. After that, click on register. If you have multiple pilots in different locations, then please register separate accounts for them. This is important because we assign projects based on location. This is your pilot's dashboard. You can also process your drone mapping data with us. Check out our advanced drone mapping deliverables article via the link in the description. First thing you need to do is to complete your account. You can confirm your email address with the link that is automatically sent to your email. Next, add any equipment that you have. This is a very important step because it will enable us to assign you the project based on your equipment. Click Add Equipment button. We usually use drones capable of terrain mapping. The link to which drones we prefer is in the description. Now select drones and cameras that you have. Let's say that you have DJI Phantom 4 RTK. So select it from the list and click Add Equipment button. Here you have to set a fee for a full day of work with that drone that you would like to receive. This will let us automatically calculate your price. Let's input 700 euros for a full day of work with that drone. This does not include setting ground control points, getting airspace permits and travel costs. We will configure those later. Next, you should add any other drone or drone sensor that you have. This way you have a better chance to get more projects. We specialize in drone mapping, so we usually are working with RTK or PPK enabled drones for photogrammetry. We also offer our clients solar panel inspections with the radiometric thermal camera. For our field mapping products, we require a multi-spectral camera. And for densely vegetated terrain, we require a good quality LiDAR sensor. So add those drones and sensors if you have them. Also, if you can rent those sensors somewhere, then add them to your pilot profile. This will increase your chances of being assigned to the project. Let's say that you also have the DJI Matrice 300 added to the list. This drone is capable of carrying multiple payloads, so add every sensor that you have. Let's say that you have DJI H20T camera. We usually use it for thermal inspections. Insert here the full day rate per one day of work. You can always change it later on with edit rate button. Now you should add your GPS receivers that you will be using for the ground control points. We require this equipment for terrain mapping products. Let's say that you have Leica GS18 GNSS rover. Notice that there is a full day rate needed here. This means how much money you request for a full day of measuring with your GPS receiver. Don't worry, almost always measuring a few ground control points takes up to few hours. We will use this day rate to calculate the price. Let's insert here 600 euros. Next, we have to select which RTK provider we use. Let's say it is Leica SmartNet. If there is a piece of equipment missing in our database, then let us know in the chat here so we can add it manually. After you are done, click Save. Now click on Home and add your address. This is important because we assign projects to our pilots based on the location. Here, write your street name and the city. Next, you can edit or not the radius of operations here. Let's leave it at default and click on Save. Now let us know where you are allowed to fly. Let's select Belgium and Netherlands. And then click on Home tab. Great, the pilot profile is completed. With all the information filled in the profile, our automated pilot matcher software will be able to find you and assign nearby projects. Once the projects become available, 
you will be notified via email that it looks like this. After you log into the web app, you will find a new proposal here. Now let's review the proposal. On the top there is a map with area of interest marked. There is also the download KML button, so you can use the KML boundary to plan the ground control points placement and the flight mission in your drone flight software. You can also use the download KML in Google Earth Pro to inspect the area in Google Street View. If it is available for that location, Scrolling down, we have our internal flight reference number. Our team will use it to communicate project-related information with you. There is also a location, deadline, equipment to be used, area size, and the proposed price. We use an automated pricing algorithm based on the location, your day rates, travel costs, area size, project type and more to calculate this price. See the article how we calculate the pirate prices in the description. Next, we have flight plan instructions. Click on the read more button to expand it. Our team has put a lot of effort into creating those flight instructions, so the end product matches the client's expectations. For example, for our cat roof mapping product, there is a fixed elevation above the top of the roof. For terrain mapping, the flight height is important for proper reconstruction of nearby trees for optimal solar panel placement, so the requested altitude should be respected. After that you have the amount of ground control points that we require and the coordinate reference system for those ground control points that we need. There are some helpful tutorials for marking and measuring ground control points here. Here are the deliverables that we expect you to upload. Almost always we require only the unprocessed images and ground control points coordinates. For most mapping projects we require those images to be precisely georeferenced with RTK or PPK solution. There is no processing needed from your side. After that we have airspace situation notification from the internal system. If there are any no-fly zones or you need to apply for the permit to fly in the area of interest, then please let us know so we can notify the client about the additional time that we require. If you need any help or something is not clear, then reach out to us. Here is the chat button that you can use. Alternatively, use WhatsApp or contact button. Now, if everything is clear, we will accept the project. If you want to learn more about how we calculate the price per project, take a look at the link in the description. Sometimes you'll see that the project needs to be accepted first by the client. If you see this, please don't fly it yet. We will notify you with a separate email message that the project is ready to be flown. After that, you schedule the flight using the schedule button. Pick the first available date that you can perform the flight. A day before the flight, Check out our flight page. There will be contact details listed. At least a day before flying, please coordinate the upcoming drone flight with the client's representative listed in this field. If there are any problems, please contact us. And there could be additional notes from in-flights on this project. If you cannot fly it for some reason, please reschedule it in our app as soon as possible so the client gets notified. Also, write us a message why you had to reschedule the flight so our team stays up to date. Now you are ready to fly. Keep in mind that if you need any help or you encounter any technical issues that cause deviation from the flight plan instructions, then please call the pilot community manager using WhatsApp button. Once you are finished flying the drone, please click on the drone landed button. If you have a laptop with you at the project's location, then you can use free data checker tool to check your dataset. Just drag and drop your photos here and click on check data. All good, the data checker is green. Once you are back in the office, please start the upload immediately. You can upload the images here. Click on the Uploads button and drag and drop all the folders from your drone here. The data checker will run again. 
click check. Now click upload. Please include your whole dataset that was flown that day, even the bad pictures that you took. After that, you can upload more pictures if you missed any, or proceed to uploading ground control points. Please include the job report file from your GNSS receiver with the estimated measurement accuracy for each point. This will help us to improve the accuracy of the final deliverables. If you have more files that need to be uploaded, then you should use WinRAR or 7-zip free software to zip them into the archive. Once that is done, please upload it to the other category. All done, the upload is finished. Now our processing team will start processing the data. After a few days since the data upload, you will receive an email with the information about invoicing. Be sure to include the flight reference number and your company details. The invoice should be sent in PDF format to administration at inflights.com. Keep in mind that we have a 30 days payment policy since we received the invoice. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to let your drone mapping friends know about inflights. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos about drone mapping products, drone mapping tutorials and more. See you in the next one.